Mr. Rinvesolo, welcome back to the channel, baby. You are gonna love what I found. Shout out to all the cowboys at the ranch. Okay, so this video stems around a webinar, which includes, you know, Illumina, Bio-Nanogenomics, and a juicy government research program. Okay, guys, I think you will like this video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Please remember, none of this is financial advice. And if you like this kind of content, please join channel memberships. It's only 99 cents a month. Please support in any way you can. There's also a PayPal link in the description box below. You can send any amount. It really helps out me creating content. Straight in there like swimwear. So there was this webinar, I think it was in the early weeks of September or late August, and it says a new optimized microarray solution streamlines the cytogenomic analysis workflow across multiple applications. Within it, there's two main speakers. There's one, Mo Serrano, and then there's Daniel Sol. Moses Serrano is from Linogen. He's the laboratory director. And with Daniel Sol, he's the technical sales director from BioNanogenomics. And check this out. Before he joined BioDiscovery, he held several roles at Illumina, including product manager of cytogenomic solutions. So what Daniel Sol wanted to talk about during this, he wanted to discuss the design of Infinium Global global diversity array with cytogenetics 8 bead chip with the use of NX clinical software for data analysis. So as you guys know, about a year ago, BioNanogenomics acquired this company called BioDiscovery. BioDiscovery has this tool called NX clinical. BioDiscovery says that NX clinical is the most comprehensive and up-to-date solution for cytogenetics and molecular genetics in one system for analysis and interpretation of all genomic variants from microarray and next generation sequencing data. So why is this all important? Let's take a look at Illumina. So Sol said with the design of the Infinium Global Diversity Array with Cytogenetics 8 bead chip. We are now on Illumina's website. You can see in the top corner it says Illumina. We are on the product I just mentioned, the Infinium Global Diversity Array 8 kit. And when you take a look at this, if you're scrolling down, you can see the product highlights. And within the product highlights, you can see here, it was chosen by the All of Us Research Program. The GDA, the Global Diversity Array, is the commercial version of the microarray chosen by the All of Us Research Program. This program will engage 1 million or more volunteers living in the US to contribute their health data over many years to improve health outcomes, fuel the development of new treatments for disease and catalyze a new era of evidence base and more precise preventative care and medical treatment. So All of Us is a research program from the National Institutes of Health. It's seeking 1 million or more people across the US and by doing so, it hopes to one day speed up medical research. People who join will share information about their health habits and what it's like where they live. And most of this is focusing on precision medicine. So the All of Us research program, the goal is to advance precision medicine. Precision medicine is healthcare that is based on you as an individual. It takes into account factors where you live, what you do and your family health history. Precision medicine's goal is to be able to tell people the best ways to stay healthy. If someone does get sick, precision medicine may help healthcare teams find the treatment that will work best. So now, if this is funded by the National Institute of Health, these guys offer many types of grants, contracts, and funding. So BioNanogenomics has this kind of link between, you know, this guy, Daniel Sol, who held several roles at Illumina, promoting the use of BioNanogenomics Biodiscovery NX clinical software for data analysis and Illumina's Infinium Global Diversity Array with Cytogenetics 8B chip for a government-funded project for 1 million people. So my question is, because I don't know this, I was looking for it and I was trying to find what different companies charge in terms of, you know, genomic analysis. How much does it cost for one genome, you know, in terms of genomic analysis run through the NX clinical software? How much does it cost to make sense of the data that you found from one genome and then multiply it by a million? Apparently, one of the main core values is diversity in this program as well. And they want the people to come forward. Implementation is for participants to reflect the rich diversity of the US. How much are they going to be charging for the genome analysis using NX Clinical for these 1 million participants? Is it $100 per genome? Is it $200? Is it $500? How much are they charging? And what's the margins looking like? That's my question. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much people would charge. I don't know how much they charge for NX Clinical. And they said this is going to be done over multiple years. But let's take a look down here. In terms of the GDA, it says here, robust assay and high throughput workflow. Infinium LCG assay provides the capability to run up to 1,728 samples per week using a single eye scan system. So once they run the sample, and they gather the data, they need to send it over to, you know, Biodiscovery NX Clinical and make sense of that data. I also took a brief read of this interview with Biodiscovery founder, president and CSO Sohil Shams. And within this interview, when they asked him, how do you envision the future of genomics? He said he wouldn't be in this field if he didn't think it had a very bright future. When you look at how quickly information about the genome is coming out, you realize how revolutionary it is. I think over the next decade, a lot of medicine is going to be driven by the genomics of the patient. So I'm very excited to be a part of this healthcare revolution. 
For precision medicine for just cancer alone, there's a Globe Newswire article here stating that oncology precision medicine was around $49.4 billion in 2021 and it's estimated to be worth $84 billion by 2030. And that's just for oncology. In terms of the growth of the precision medicine market size, a report from 2022 to 2030, their estimate is at President's Research that it's going to reach around about $175.64 billion by 2030. There's lots of different figures here, but they're saying, you know, in the next eight years or so, the precision medicine market is going to be over $100 billion. To help to be able to analyze and interpret all of this genomic data is an asset for bio-nanogenomics. Illumina continuing to win government contracts. I remember here in the UK, it says here over a year ago, David Cameron, former prime minister, lobbied for Illumina and some of the papers were coming out saying, you know, Illumina won this £123 million deal after David Cameron wrote a letter to Matt Hancock. Before he got fired or before he resigned, Matthew John David Hancock, a British politician, served as Secretary of State for Health and Social Care from 2018 to 2021. This guy removed himself or got fired because he was getting saucy and was caught on CCTV sharing a kiss with someone who is not his wife. Get down on it, bum bum bum, get down on it. Oh yeah, that's a lot of tongue, Anyways, wishing you a lovely day. Stock price is probably going to drop some more. Uh, I'll go all in if it goes to $1.50. But under $2, I might start dollar cost averaging in again. I'm long and strong on buying nanogenomics. I think it has a very bright future. We're eagerly waiting as investors for this ramp up in sales. We want to see a ramp up in revenue. We want to see more buying nanogenomics sapphire systems sold. And a continuation with, you know, healthcare bodies across the world adopting buy nanogenomics sapphire system and optical genome mapping into workflows for cancer, routine screening... And seeing bio-nanogenomics really working towards getting 10,000 sapphire systems placed across the world, they said, you know, between 10 and 15,000 sapphire systems. Addressing a 2.6 to 38 billion dollar market opportunity could be a lot more, but let's see how this company gets on in the long run. Please remember, none of this is financial advice, it's for entertainment only. I've got 10,000 shares of bio-nanogenomics and I'm looking to actually pick up. If things work out, I'll be picking up thousands more. So I own shares in a company called Occidental Petroleum. Uh, Warren Buffett has expressed his interest to buy up to 50% of the company. As you can see, here reported by Bloomberg, Reuters, he wins the okay to buy up to 50% of Oxy. Now, if this man goes for, you know, a buyout of Occidental Petroleum and adds it to Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio and keeps management in place, I don't know how he's going to buy out the rest of the public shares, if it's going to be in stock or if it's going to be mostly cash. If it's cash, I'll be loading up so many shares of bio nanogenomics. I believe that genomics is going to be part of routine screening, you know, it's going to be part of holistic healthcare. There are studies that come out talking about whole genome sequencing and genome screening at GPs that are feasible. The UK remains committed to spending spending billions on, you know, improving diagnosis and personalized medicine. One of their other pillars is prevention and early detection. So overall worldwide, they're spending billions and investing into research and looking into genomics and embedding it into healthcare services around the world. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Hit me with that thumbs up. Hit me with the subscribe. Drop me some comments down below. If you're able to support the channel, it really helps out. The lowest grade is like 99 cents and it really, really helps out. So thank you so much for all your love and support. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. As always, it's not financial advice for entertainment only. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Mr. Investalot, over and out, baby.